Police believe fruiterer Paul Vergona may have been shot dead after being mistaken for his bikey neighbor. He was caught amid an escalating feud between the Mongols and Finks. The 46-year-old father was killed in his fruit van while driving to work on the East Link in the early hours of November 9, 2019. A bullet-riddled body has been found in the driver's seat of a van on East Link. Detectives believe the offenders knew the victim and dumped their weapon in bushland. Lana Murphy has the latest. Stopped in the middle of the East Link freeway, a white van blasted by at least 11 bullets. Its doors stained with the blood of a man who stood little chance of survival after being confronted by at least one gunman. It's likely to be more than one person involved. We're still progressing that avenue. The victim, a 46-year-old Croydon man, was the sole occupant of the vehicle, which was found blocking city-bound lanes of the tollway around 2.20 a.m. Two patched Mongols, Josh Ryder, 30, and Aaron Ong, 35, are facing court charged with his murder. But new documents reveal that police believe Vergona may have been shot as a result of mistaken identity. It's understood that Vergona lived in very close proximity to a Finks member who was the intended target of the shooting. Police sources say the murder came at a time when the Mongols and Finks were in conflict and followed months of tit-for-tat shootings between members of the two gangs. Police now believe the shooting was an attempt at retaliation for an earlier attack. On July 11, 2019, four months before Vergona was killed, a Finks member turned up at Casey Hospital suffering gunshot wounds in a crime that remains unsolved. Then, possibly in retaliation, on August 1, two Finks members launched a surprise attack on the vice president of the Mongols' Melbourne chapter, shooting him several times. Two Finks have been charged with attempted murder over that shooting and a third charged with accessory after the fact. The matter is currently before the courts. It's understood tensions between the Finks and the Mongols are ongoing. It's not clear who fired the fatal shots. However, police believe the Mongols are responsible for Vergona's murder. The court matter against Ryder and Ong continues. Police have not revealed the names of those involved in the conflict before the Vergona shooting.